welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another declutter and it's going to be a massive one. Today I'm going to be digging into my eyeshadow palettes and trying to declutter for you. I have a pretty extensive eyeshadow palette collection. I think it's about 150 eyeshadow palettes. I honestly do not know the exact number. I do love my eyeshadow palette collection. I don't think I'm going to be decluttering too many. However, I do want to pass along eyeshadow palettes that I'm not using or I'm not fully loving. If you enjoy eyeshadow eyeshadow palette declutters. I give this video a like. It does help my channel out and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. If you like to see my collection of eyeshadow palette and a small declutter then please continue so watching. here me. I have a bunch of my palettes on the floor and then this entire box is basically all the eyeshadow palettes that I primarily tried this year and this was in my ranking of 2022 so i had this humongous box full of palettes and then i also have two additional drawers i have this drawer with some of the older eyeshadow palettes that i need to go through and this drawer is a complete mess here i have more of my affordable eyeshadow palettes i definitely need to go through them and organize this entire mess also i have this clear organizer that's standing on my vanity and here i have my single eyeshadow and a small eyeshadow palette i know that i need to declutter some of the items from this drawer as well but i'm not sure if we're gonna get to this drawer in this video i just wanted you to know that if it's not on this video it will be in a different declutter video after november and december my entire room is a complete mess and then palettes are literally everywhere so i really need to organize them properly and i'm ready for shopping my stash which is going to be a new series in 2023 on my channel eyeshadow palettes are definitely one of my favorite categories and things to try and that's why i have so many so let's begin from this drawer and i'm gonna actually pull everything on the floor and we're gonna get started so this is the palette that I recently picked up Ace Beauté Ambience Palette. Beautiful quality, beautiful color story. I'm definitely keeping this. This is very inspirational to me. Here I have two palettes from BH Cosmetics. Blueberry Muffin. I love this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I actually picked it up this year. Both of these palettes I picked up this year and I know that they are already discontinued palettes however i wanted them for myself here's alori 3 by juvia's place you guys know how much i love this palette i really like it i like the quality i love the color story this is super inspirational to me i love the look that i created with this keeping it this is a nomad by juvia's place beautiful color story i love the shade beautiful for fall i love this palette i'm gonna keep it this is the topes uh, by juvia's place not the best Juvia's Place formula, but for now I have to keep it uh, for the video content that I'm planning. I'm not the biggest fan of cool tones, especially grays on me. The looks that I created with this palette are okay, they were cute, but generally I do not reach for this palette too much, but I need to hold on to this palette right now for content. This is a Nubian Earth palette by Juvia's Place. This is my most recent uh, Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. This palette made it to my November favorites video. I was uh, quite impressed with this color story, even though it looks kind of boring, but all these neutral shades, they do have kind of like this yellow undertone, which is really, really beautiful and unique. Some of the shimmers are outstanding. For most of this palette that I have in my collection, I do have either featured videos with or some type of get ready with me's where I show just swatches. There are also a lot of content on my Instagram where you can see the highlighted palette and then see the swatches, see the look tutorials and demos, things like that. I am keeping this palette. This is a California Love from ColourPop. Absolutely love this. This is me in a palette. I love all these warm neutral tones. I use it a lot, especially in summer. Gorgeous looks with this palette. This is Truly Madly Deeply. I don't see myself decluttering this palette anytime soon. Absolutely stunning. This is a palette that made me fall in love with pink and coral tones. Before that, I was really just afraid of using those colors on my eyes. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles. A wonderful palette. This white is fantastic. I love pastels, but obviously I do not use them on a daily basis. I am a neutrals lover for the most part, but I do enjoy all these colors. This palette's formula is fantastic. I don't know if you can still get your hands on this palette, but I do use some of these shades in a combination with like other palettes. It's more of like a companion palette for me. So I'm definitely keeping this palette. 
This is a double entendre from Colourpop. I don't believe this palette is available anymore. I think this palette was even repackaged at one point, but I absolutely love this. I'm a neutrals lover. This is a neutrals lover's dream here. I am keeping this. I've used this palette so many times. I've traveled with this palette. This is not going anywhere. This is one of my most recent palettes that I picked up, I think last month, and uh, this was in my November favorites also. Hocus Pocus 2 from ColourPop. Super fun packaging, super fun color story, beautiful formula. I've created some fun looks with this palette and I continue reaching for it. This is a beautiful color story that gives you such a variety of looks that you can create with this. Purple shade is absolutely stunning. It looks more purple in the pan and on the eye, it does have the hint of fuchsia. It is such a beautiful and unique shade and all these colors are just fantastic. I love that you can do a colorful look here. I love that you can do a very neutral look here. Um, definitely an amazing palette. I, I'm glad I have it. I'm definitely keeping. This is a Nubian 3 Coral by Juvia's Place, another neutral palette. However, it does have this row of cool tones here. This is one of my most favorite neutral palettes of my entire collection. The quality is amazing and easy to work with and perfect for a beginner and I really love that you get a variety of undertones here definitely keeping this is fade into hue this is the only rainbow eyeshadow palette in my collection i'm definitely keeping this the garden variety by color pop i also love this color story even though some of the shadows here are a little bit more textured and then there is a little bit more fallout on some of the shades however i still love how they translate on eyes i really enjoy the looks that i created with this i'm definitely keeping sonic bloom by color pop i think this palette was launched for alta beauty stores only as like the limited edition to the stores I am glad I got my hands on this. This is such a fantastic formula. I love all the shades. I think this shade is a little bit more textured and powdery, but everything else here performs really nicely and um, I'm gonna keep it. This is In the Springs by ColourPop. This is a newly launched palette to this year. I, I did have a video on this creating a look. I love this formula. This color story is super fun. The beautiful formula and this shade right here is a super shock. I'm gonna keep it. This is the palette from Essence. It's called Be Beautiful. Beautiful neutral palette. This was a great quality that Essence made. I've used this palette so many times, but this palette was discontinued and it's time I let it go. So these palettes are here are by Ulta Beauty. They were gifts with purchase. I've tried Ulta Beauty eyeshadow formula this year, just a few months back, and I'm not a huge fan of Ulta Beauty eyeshadow formula. These are mini eyeshadow palettes, they're not available because they were made specifically for gift with purchase bags. I find this eyeshadow formula to be very similar with their actual eyeshadow formula that they have in their permanent collections. This is okay formula. It's not bad by all means. It just requires a little bit of work, but the color stores are pretty neutral. I would like to see if I can pass them along to friends and family. This is a bronze a rustic eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place. I love this color story and I also love the formula. This red pigment is absolutely stunning on eyes and very unique to my collection. I love the shimmers, the mattes are easy to work with. I really love this pops of color and kind of like a neutral vibe. I'm definitely keeping this palette. This is a Smitten in Switzerland by BH Cosmetics. I love this muted fall color story. The shimmer formula in this palette is fantastic. I don't believe you can get this palette anymore. It is discontinued. However, I am still keeping it. I love it. This is a Harvest palette by Perfusion. This was the first time I tried anything from Perfusion this year, and this was a palette that I tried, and I was quite impressed with the formula. You guys can see that my palette's been used and loved. This palette was in my fall eyeshadow palette a rotation and I've used a lot of it. I'm definitely looking forward to trying something else from Perfusion in the future. Definitely keeping this palette. I love it so much. This is a blush rose palette from Juvia's Place, another six pan. Beautiful color story, very rosy, very romantic, a little bit more on that lighter side. This uh, shade does not give you too much depth, but I really like it. I'm going to keep this palette right now. I like it. It has a purpose in my collection. This palette is Soft and Sultry by Milani. I don't even know if this is still available however this quality is so good and i really hope that milani will bring this quality to their current eyeshadow palettes but whenever i need to do a cool tone look this is my go-to palette i'm definitely keeping this one here i have two palettes from flower beauty that i picked up this year flower desert lights palette 
and this is a jungle light this shade crumbled i need to repress it both of these eyeshadows i wanted for so long and they were getting sold out so many times they're full shimmers there are no mattes in these palettes but the formula is spectacular this is absinthe palette from bh cosmetics again no longer available but super fun green eyeshadow palette i'm definitely gonna keep this one just for myself these two palettes are by catrice sandy days and rainforest haze gorgeous eyeshadow palettes that were launched this year both of these palettes are shimmer heavy there are only three matte shades in each palette there's not really much that you can do with those however the shimmers are absolutely outstanding and some of them are like very very unique like i would say that this palette is beautiful however some of the shimmers could be repatterned if you can probably find them in other palettes but some of the shimmers in this palette are so unique this goldish green shade is spectacular and so unique and then this shade is beautiful like lettuce shimmery green stunning and absolutely love the shimmery like bronzy brown shade this shimmery shade is amazing like i just love the shimmer shades and definitely keeping both of these palettes they're so amazing this is a star wars mandalorian the child by color pop eyeshadow palette this is amazing palette i really love it the color store is perfection to my opinion i love neutrals and i love greens and the formula is super nice here easy to work with i love it i'm keeping it this is a z palette from ulta beauty these six these are actually by ulta beauty singles and i feature them in a video this year this is my favorite banana powder from essence that i keep rebuying but the packaging is very faulty it breaks every single time you just use it like a few times you guys know exactly the powder that i'm talking about but this powder is fantastic these are the essence blushes and this is a clinique blush that i've had um that the packaging broke also so i find this z palette is really convenient but i'm not going to pay too much attention to this i'm going to keep it but i'm definitely going to go through this on my own time and declutter some of this but i'm going to keep the palette these are the two eyeshadow palettes by juvia's place they're a larger format here the nubian 2 and the magic mini i'm not sure why this is so dirty something got really messy in the drawer i really love this color story i've done looks with this on camera i'm gonna keep this and then the magic mini by juvia's place also a gorgeous palette it is quite colorful the shimmer shades and this palette are just outstanding. I'm definitely keeping this palette alive. Now I'm gonna pull all these eyeshadow palettes to the floor. Again, we're gonna get started. Okay, let's get in. Gingerbread Extra Spicy by Too Faced. I love this color store and this is my only one palette of this kind that is getting launched every single year from Too Faced. I'm gonna keep this one, I like it. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes of Forever. This was their holiday launch from 2021 last year that I got. This is my only Charlotte Tilbury palette. I struggle with the mattes a little bit. They come off patchy on my eyes, but the shimmers are absolutely stunning. I paid shitload of money for this palette and I'm keeping this. Nabla Dreamy palette. Love this palette so much. That's all I have to say. I'm keeping it. I absolutely adore this. Nabla Cutie palette Coral. Absolutely love this color story. The formula is spectacular. Nabla eyeshadow formula is one of my favorites. I'm definitely keeping this palette. This is, oh boy, by Mario. Ethereal Eyes. Love-hate relationship right here. Beautiful palette, but nothing special, really. I bought this to review it on my channel, of course. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I probably would not buy this. My personal opinion, I think it was overpriced. It is a nice palette. Mattes are easy to work with. Shimmers are cute, but nothing innovative, nothing new in this palette. So, but I'm gonna keep it. I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm gonna keep it. Nabla Secret Palette. Look how stunning this packaging is. Very beautiful color story. This shade right here is absolutely stunning. I really need to reach for this palette a little bit more often. Definitely keeping. Give by Gwen Stefani. This was a quad in the shade Danger Zone. It's not a terrible formula, but it's also nothing impressive. I expected more from her eyeshadow formula. It's also not the color story that I reach for, and I also do not like that this darker shade has glitter speckles in it. I don't know. I just don't reach for this palette. I forget that I have it. It's just not my color story that I reach for usually. And even if I had to reach for a cool color store, I probably would not reach for this palette. I'll probably go with my Milani one, to be honest with you, or some of my Natasha Denona ones or Huda. It's practically new, so I'm gonna pass this along. Born This Way, The Natural Nudes by Too Faced. Beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette, beautiful formula, easy to work with, easy go-to neutral palette. This was the first launch that they did. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping, I love this palette. Nabla, 
side by side eyeshadow palette another beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette i love the formula like i said i'm gonna keep it because it does have a variety of different neutral shades right here beautiful shimmers beautiful mattes then here i have two of a tartelette by tarte toasted and in bloom both of these palettes have been with me for some time they're slightly different. This is your warmer neutrals. This is your cooler neutrals. The shimmers are more on the subtle side, but I really love the packaging. I really love that there's a solid good mirror. These palettes traveled with me so many times. I've had these palettes for probably a few years now, but this is still my go-to palettes. If I need like a super easy go-to look, I would reach for these. I also would wear them a lot for the office. I love these. They're not going anywhere. This is a palette from Urban Decay, Born to Run. Oh god, this is a nostalgia palette for me. I kind of want to keep it, but I recently tried this palette and it was very powdery. I just feel like the formula got too old, so I'm going to declutter this. These two are from Nabla. This is a cutie palette nude. This is actually a considerably new palette to me. And all these shades here are shimmery or kind of satin, like the darker ones are more satin. I've used it only a few times because this palette is considerably new to me, but the looks come out just so beautiful and it just does look like you have an expensive eyeshadow on your eye. This is a cutie palette platinum. This is a beautiful palette. It's definitely more curated to the store. You have a lot of metallics here. All these shimmer shades are like very punchy, up in your face type of shimmers. They're very bright, very foily. I apologize for my dog barking, but he is very loud. I have a Weimaraner and he's a big boy and he's really loud. This is the perfect palette for your outings, like evening celebrations and New Year's. I absolutely love this palette, definitely keeping. This is Cutie Palette by Analog. If you've been to my channel, you know this is one of my favorite palettes and one of my favorite neutral palettes this duochrome is fantastic it has this coral to gold shift to it gives you like that wet lid effect which i absolutely love nabla formula again is just one of my favorites and such a pleasure to work with every time you get a beautiful look this palette specifically is like one of my favorite and top favorite palettes so i'm definitely keeping it this is a palette from clarence it's a beautiful color story and i do love my warm neutrals and pinks however i just don't reach for it and i don't think this really has a value for my channel at this moment i'm gonna pass this along because this is empowered by huda beauty eyeshadow palette this was their holiday launch this is definitely not my favorite huda eyeshadow palette but i'm gonna keep it it does have interesting formulas here and i created some beautiful looks with it but i do love the quality of this palette in general i'm gonna hold on to it this is Patrick Ta Major Dimension. This, this was a first launch that he did, and I did not pick up the second one. I really love this palette. Beautiful quality of the mattes. They, they blend really easily. They build up nicely. You can get a really nice depth with these tones. And the shimmers, they're a little bit more textured, but they do go on the lid really nicely in few layers you can definitely get that full opacity and really nice reflection from them and i really love that these two cream shades they're protected with a clear cap here and also i use them as an eyeliner a lot you guys can see how messy this area is i use them as an eyeliner and they also can be used as a eyeshadow base for some of these uh, deeper shades uh, to create more depth. So I definitely love this palette. I love it. Good quality. This is a KKW Beauty called Classic. Actually, it was a really nice eyeshadow palette. Even though I love this palette a lot as a neutrals lover, this palette is no longer available. Nobody remembers about KKW makeup anymore. So I'm going to declutter this. These two palettes are from Too Faced. Do you guys remember these? I mean, these are so fun. They still smell so beautifully. This smells like a pineapple and this smells like berries. Absolutely adorable, super cute packaging. Actually, it was a really nice formula, but I think I'm going to declutter them at this time or maybe put them in a memory box or something like that because the packaging is so cute. I can use them for photography or something like that. But I don't really reach for these. I use these palettes a little bit and I created some really beautiful looks with these. The mattes were nice. The shimmers were really lovely, but it's time I let them go. This is a Read My Mind by Nabla. I love this formula. Again, I love the different textures. There are toppers here for uh, shimmers. There are full foil shimmers here. The mattes are easy to work with. I really love how this palette is organized. This is not going anywhere. This palette actually lives on my vanity. I use this a ton. This is Naked Reloaded from Urban Decay. I really love this color story. I know some people like hated it and decluttered it a long time ago. 
I love this color story. It's super boring, it's super basic, but this is what I like on an everyday basis. I think this formula is nothing spectacular, but it's really easy to work with. If you need to get ready in like five minutes and you just need to put something on your lid, I don't have any issues creating any looks with this. I love this palette, it's not going anywhere, and I really love the silky packaging, so definitely keep it. This is Naked Honey by Urban Decay, absolutely stunning packaging. I really love the color store, it's very monochromatic, but it's a warm neutral, and it has this beautiful gold shade. Created some fun, warm, neutral looks with this, especially I love this palette in summer, so I'm keeping it. This is a palette that is very, very sentimental to me. This is Naked by Urban Decay. This is my first high-end palette that I've ever purchased. I, I have shared my sentimental story with you guys before, but this is not going on anywhere. I don't really reach for this palette anymore, but I keep it for sentimental reasons. Here I have Rose Metals from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette was launched this year. This is actually a fantastic formula from ABH. Primarily, it's a little bit more on a grungier side. The formula is fantastic. The mattes, the shimmers, everything is absolutely stunning, easy to work with. If you enjoy creating like super easy, smoky eyes, then you will enjoy this palette. I'm definitely keeping this. This is a Nouveau palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Again, this palette was launched this year and everybody was like super excited about this palette. I love that there are different undertones here and even a pop of color. This lilac shade is absolutely stunning on its own with like a white eyeliner. I did a white and black eyeliner, like half and half, with this all over the lid in summer, and I loved it. I actually do have a photo of that on my Instagram if you wanted to see what it looks like. Very, very successful palette, to my opinion, that they launched. I'm definitely keeping this. This is Wild Greens from Urban Decay. I know a lot of people hated this palette, and a lot of people declutter this palette. I don't mind this palette. I like lighter looks for every day, and I don't think the formula was difficult to work with. It's quite the opposite. I found it easy to work with and no fuss, just the colors would build up to an extent. I mean, this is considerably light palette. There's really not much depth here, but I do enjoy lighter looks and I also love the corals and greens. So this palette is up to my liking and I don't think the quality is terrible. It's not the best one out there that you've ever tried, but it is easy to work with and then there's quite a cute looks that you can create with this. I'm keeping it, I like it. This is Nabla Wild Berry palette. It is pretty curated color story, but the formula again is a spectacular Nabla formula that I enjoy. This shade is a phenomenal topper that gives you a wet lid effect. I love this palette and um, I'm keeping it. This is a cutie palette, Midnight, another curated story, beautiful blue shades. In the beginning of this year, I really wanted a blue palette and I got this. Whenever I need to create a blue look, this is a palette that I go for. This is 12 Days of Lunar by Lunar Beauty. I'm gonna open this, guys. If you don't need a spoiler, this is your time to move forward a little bit because I'm gonna open this. This was a palette that was launched from Lunar Beauty in the form of an advent calendar, which I thought was fantastic and super exciting. I arranged all the shades in the order that I opened them from the calendar. I think the quality is phenomenal. I was definitely very impressed by the quality. I did not expect this type of quality. I've heard good things about Lunar Beauty eyeshadow formula, but I did not realize that it's gonna be this good. Both shimmers and mattes are spectacular. I'm definitely intrigued and I do want to try more from the brand in the future. Michaela from Glam Light. How fun is this palette? I've created some super fun looks this summer. I had a lot of fun in summer with this palette. Um, this was the first palette that I've tried from Glam Light. And the mattes are a little bit more on the drier side, but they build up really nicely. They do pack better than they blend. And the technique that I find more useful with this is uh, going from darker shades to lighter shades. This is quite a large palette. However, I do not own a lot of large palettes. A majority of my palettes are smaller to medium size. This is definitely one of the largest palettes that I own and also one of the most colorful palettes that I own. So I do want to keep it and the shimmer shades here are super beautiful. This is a Hershey Kisses Milk Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette from Glam Light. I believe this was also launched. The entire collection was launched this year. Correct me if I'm wrong. I really love this color story even though it's super neutral. The shimmer shades again are super buttery, very reflective, very easy to apply. However, the mattes are the same formula, just a little bit more on the drier side. It takes a little bit more work to blend them, but I really love the undertones of these mattes. They're quite different and unique to my collection. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are neutral, but these tones have this unique taupey undertone to them, and I really enjoy them, so I'm keeping this palette. Cookies and Dreams 
eyeshadow palette. This was a part of the entire collection. I did try the entire collection. It was quite disappointing, to be honest. I've never featured this on my channel because I scraped the video. The quality of this eyeshadow palette, it was so poor that I couldn't manage to even do a half decent look. I've seen other creators do beautiful looks with this. They were not the most gorgeous looks, but they managed to do looks with them. And it made me think that my palette was faulty one, like some type of a dud. For most part, the shades swatch okay, but they were very powdery and nothing would adhere to my eyelid. Definitely declutter. This is by Morphe Desert Bouquet 35D. I do not mind Morphe eyeshadow formula. It is not spectacular, but it is easy to work with. I think this palette was on sale for like 15 bucks, so I just picked it up just for easy go-to looks, and I really love the variety of shades here. So I'm going to keep this. This palette is Ultimate Matte's um, eyeshadow palette. There are 42 shades here and all of them are matte. I don't think this palette is available anymore. However, I'm going to still keep it. This is a really nice BH Cosmetics formula and all the shades are mattes. I created some really beautiful matte looks out of this. I'm going to keep it. I like it. This is a 35W from Morphe eyeshadow palette. This was the first eyeshadow palette that I've ever bought. This palette is probably about 10 years old at least. It's hard for me to say goodbye to it, but I have to. I have a lot of neutral palettes now and obviously this is not the best formula so there's really no need for me to keep it and I do have my naked palette for sentimental reasons uh, so I'm gonna let this one go this time. Chocolate Brown from Huda Beauty. This is a beautiful neutral palette. There's really nothing special about it but I really love the looks that I create with this and so I'm gonna keep this one. This is a Wild Jaguar from Huda Beauty. This was launched I believe last year. I really love this color story. It is definitely more in your cooler tone. I find this palette to be unique to my collection. I keep it. So here are my older Huda palettes. I think I might need to let go of some. This is a Warm Brown Obsessions. Even though I love this color story, I know I have all these tones somewhere else and there is only one shimmer shade, which is like a medium tone here. I'm going to declutter this one. This green one is Emerald Obsessions. This is a palette that I technically only kept for shimmers, but I have a better green palette now, so I'm going to declutter this one. This is a Ruby Obsessions. I love this color story. I created some beautiful looks with this, but I am going to declutter this because, again, this palette is no longer available. And this is Topaz Obsessions. I love this color story, but this palette is so old and I do have this tones in other palettes and several other palettes in my collection now. And I'm gonna let this go. This is an Yehuda Beauty New Nude. I love this palette, even though they're a bunch of uh, pressed glitters here. I'm gonna keep this for now. I still love this and I'm gonna keep it. This is Huda Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna keep this one as well. I love this color story. Rose Gold Powder Remaster. This is not her best shimmer formula. They're a little bit harder to pick up, but I'm gonna keep this for now for collection. This is Mercury Retrograde. I really love the packaging. I really love that she switched to this plasticky one with the mirror. I like this palette. I like the color store. I like the quality. I'm definitely keeping this. This is a Naughty by Huda Beauty. I'm not sure what happened here. I need to take care of that. But this is a beautiful neutral palette. However, at first when you look at it, it does look like another brown palette. The shimmers here are spectacular. When we're talking about one of the best Huda Beauty shimmers, this palette has it. This is a weird shade here that I actually never touched. I just left it alone. I pull some of these matte shades pull a little bit more like burgundy rosy and this is not something that you see right away when you look at this palette. So I do like that you get a little bit of different looks out of this not only just your basic brown neutrals but also slightly bit burgundy so i really like the versatility for this palette so i'm definitely keeping rose quartz palette this is like my love one and only here gorgeous gorgeous palette every single look that i've ever done with this palette is absolutely stunning i'm in love with this palette it's not going anywhere these three are from her nude line so light medium and rich is right here I, initially i picked up only the light one and then i got the medium and i ended up getting the rich one because the quality is so consistent between these three yes they are all neutral but quality is really really nice so i'm definitely keeping all three if you guys hear the noises this is my boyfriend working out in the garage and i share the wall from this room to the garage so i apologize for the noise a love fast palette was launched this year i really love this color story i, lo I love the quality and i enjoy the looks of this that I create with this palette, I'm definitely keeping. This is Gemini by Melt Cosmetics. Absolutely stunning, stunning packaging. 
and I love the color story. This is my only Melt Cosmetics palette and item in general. This is the only thing that I've tried from the brand. I love this color story. I love the greens. I've, I love this warm neutrals. I love that there's a gradient from lighter to darker. The imprinting is a piece of art on these eyeshadows. And as you see, I tried to kind of pick up the shades here in this blank area so not to ruin the flower imprints. Um, I love this palette color story, but the quality is very pigmented. It is pigmented to the point that it is almost too pigmented. I really haven't featured this palette on my channel, but my goal for 2023 is finally conquer this palette. Palette. This palette only has two shimmers and I'm kind of happy that there's only two because this shimmer formula is not my favorite. It's very thick and flaky, but I'm definitely keeping this palette. Let me show you my Pat McGrath little stash here. So this is a mini Midnight Voyage that was launched this year. Six pen palette, very small. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. I love this color story. I love a little bit of versatility here with the neutral tone. This was my very first palette of Pat McGrath that I ever tried. I really like it. I've traveled with this palette a few times and I really much enjoy it. This is Mothership Mega. Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette. It's always difficult to open this for me, guys. I already mentioned that in my uh, review video. This is the third year she's launched this holiday edition, limited edition type of palette. I like this color store. It's definitely fun. It's nice to see bright, colorful matte shades from her, definitely. I've created some really cute looks with this palette, but it's super big. It's very expensive. I like this palette, but I don't love it. I think that these shades, you can... Oh my god, the mirror also doesn't stay and keeps falling. It's a really heavy palette as well. Long story short, I want to keep it because it is the only one that I have from her. I do like to kind of have a variety for my collection and for my YouTube channel generally, but I do not think that this palette is worth the price tag, and I think there's a lot of wasted space. And all the shades I can literally dupe within my more affordable palettes, like my Juvia's Place, my ColourPop. Formula is nice, the shimmers are beautiful, but I don't think this palette any special and is definitely not worth the price tag, but I'm keeping it for collection. So these two palettes that I have, a Mothership 5 and a Mothership 6, this is Midnight Sun palette, and this is a Bronze Seduction. I do have a dedicated video already with the look tutorials on this palette. I'm definitely gonna be keeping a both of these. Here are my Sigma palettes, and I will tell you right away that I will not be decluttering any of them, so I'll just briefly show to you. New Mod by Sigma is the newer palette to me. I just picked it up this year. I really like the school tones. They're very flattering. Corda Rosa palette is beautiful. More romantic rosy tones, giving me spring vibes. Ambience palette, beautiful warm neutrals. I love this. This is totally my comfort zone here. A beautiful everyday palette, but especially perfect for summer warmer seasons. Cinderella palette is beautiful. Also really lovely color story, a little bit more colorful. Had a little bit of trouble with this purple right here, but I really like this palette. I'm keeping it for now. Warm Neutrals is a lovely palette, a little bit more on the grunger side. I see some burgundy tones here. Some of the shimmers are spectacular. I do like that this side of the palette is a little bit more neutral and this side of the palette is a little bit like more burgundy rosy tones. So I really appreciate this palette, I love it. Enchanted palette is also very pretty. There's some darker mattes on this side. Some very beautiful ethereal toppers here. They have beautiful reflect to them. I really appreciate this palette because it is very different from any other palette that I have within Sigma Beauty collection or any other palette really that I have in my collection in general. So I'm definitely keeping this. These are the nine pans from Sigma. This is Ivy and Ritzy. I love both of these palettes so much. This is definitely my favorite palette that I did not expect to love so much um, like I do. But Ritzy is also super fun with this uh, like more yellow undertones. This topper is to die for, so beautiful. I, I used this palette quite a bit this past summer for my date nights and I really, really enjoyed it. The Untamed palette is different color story, but it's different from the other Sigma palettes that I have. And I really like all these shades. It's a little bit more of your fall to winter type of palette. Keeping it. I went and opened all of them, guys, for you because this is my mid-size palette collection from Natasha Denona. I definitely got into her brand very heavily this year. This is my dream palette that was just recently launched, and I, and I do have an individual video review for this. This is also the holiday launch that she just did for this season, for 2022. This is a retro glam palette. And these three, the Love, Bronze, and a Retro palettes, I just got their brand new. And this is a Sunset palette. This is a larger one. I think it's like 120. 
$29, but it recently has been on sale for half off. So I'm keeping all these palettes. These are my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So this is just my collection. I really like her formula. At this point, I'm not decluttering any of these. I just wanted to show to you and I'm keeping all of them. Here guys, I will give you a little bit of overview of my shelf. This is normally what you see in my background. Here I have all my Natasha Denona mini size palettes. Here are all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Here are my Pat McGrath. Behind this, I do have another little storage organizer for all my Huda eyeshadow palettes. So I'm happy I decluttered some because now there is a little bit more space for new collections for 2023. And this is the drawer where I keep more of my high-end eyeshadow palettes. I moved my Sigma here, some of my Urban Decay, my Nabla. I think it looks nice and organized. And this is a drawer with more of my affordable eyeshadow palettes and some of the indie brands. And this is the box with all the eyeshadow palettes that I will be decluttering. 